Five, four, three, two, one. It's too loud. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. To another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, that's me, where we cook up dishes straight from recipes that crock.com, which is my lovely wife's cooking blog that has way over 400 recipes and a rising. And this one, super, super fast. Do you like meatballs? Are you going to a party? You don't even need to go to a party. You can just have this at your house. I know that's what I'm going to do. We're not going to a party, but we're going to have us some meatballs. Simple, super, quick to make and very, very delicious. We have served this before at our house with people coming over at parties. Uh, we've taken it to parties and people absolutely love them. And it's a two ingredient dish. You need one giant bag of meatballs. Looks just like that. May the Schwartz be with you. For those of you who got that reference, congratulations. For those of you who haven't, Google it, watch it. It'll I change don't your life. Google that. <laughs> But meatballs, may the Schwartz be with you. My wife's never seen it. We're going to change her life one day. <laughs> I hear there's a sequel coming also, and it's going to be cool. But one bag of meatballs. This is home style. It's the cheap brand. It'll work. Toss it in a crock pot, just like that. Two cans of French onion soup. One. Two. And we always get the question, if we're adding condensed soup to the crock pot, do we need to add water? And the answer is, if it says to add water, add water. Otherwise, just add the ingredient. Hey, am I going to add water? No. Nope, because it's a two ingredient dish. Here we go. One and two. Right in the pot. Right over the meatballs. Boom. French onion meatballs. I'm going to stir that up so it gets all over the meatballs. Don't want to leave anybody out. Just like that. Put this on high for what, two to four hours? I'd say two to three probably. Just until the meatballs are heated through. You'll know. <clears throat> two to three hours on high, four to six on low until the meatballs are heated through. They're cooked. Just in case, I am going to switch out the spoon. And get rid of the white. Then I'll get rid of the white thingy. And that's a fish and spatula, so I won't be using that. I'll use this right here. I'll, this one. I'll drop stuff everywhere. <laughs> and now I'm back in the frame. And that. when you get done, we'll just kind of slide this one out of the way. We'll put this one in the frame. That's a heavy crock pot. Just like that right there. Now here's a great example of the party is happening before two hours. We don't have two hours. What are we going to do? Well, if you use a bigger crock pot, things will get hotter faster. And also, oh. um, we if you just use the crock and not the lid, you can throw the meatballs in and preheat them a little bit in the microwave to get them warmed up so that by the time the crock pot gets on high and everything gets cooking, it'll cut your cooking time down if you need to. Otherwise, just follow the directions. Four little meatballs should be enough. This is a great dish for any kind of a party, whether it's a holiday party, something light, something small. It'd be great for a redneck party deck, if you know what I'm talking about. Here's a picture of what the deck looks like that we just built at our house. And we're going to have a party very soon in our house on our redneck party deck and I think that we should serve these because it's quick, it's easy, and they're delicious. Long, long time um, blog readers. Every redneck has either a fishing hook or a toothpick stuck in their hat. I'm glad it's I just not ever so conveniently <laughs> had, a, had a toothpick stuck in my hat. Go ahead, honey. Um, uh, we, if those who've been on the site for a while might know of our big Bertha crock pot. And she oftentimes has these crock and ride at mm -hmm. crock parties. We'll make some of these kind. Mm -hmm. And you also make some barbecue. Mm -hmm. And what the other kind you have? Sometimes we'll just do like a traditional party one. That's like the cranberry oh. sauce. 
two ingredients and I'm very happy. I haven't had lunch yet today, so this is perfect. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just eating. Yeah. If you don't want to use the store-bought and frozen ones, we also have a recipe for homemade frozen meatballs, so you can make your homemade ones and then throw them in there. I'll be with you guys in a minute. <laughs> I got one more meatball. But we like them. Oh my gosh, this is so good. You know what? That would be great. You know, It's great in a dish like that, you know, just by itself for a party. But also, if you had some either mozzarella cheese or provolone cheese and a hoagie bun, or if you're redneck like me, a hot dog bun, and put that on there, put your meatballs on, and then take your cheese and put on there and toss it in the microwave for just a couple seconds. That'd be really good too. I think you could probably get away with them being kind of like meatball burned in White Castles too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's got, got that, that onion, onion the onion and the meat. Yeah. That is super good. Yep. Yeah. You saw how quick it took me to make that. That was less than a minute. And in two to three hours or four to six, depending on how you're cooking it, you're higher or low, um, that's going to please a lot of people. That, that bag had, I don't know how many servings, so I'm going to dig in my trash, sorry. That had how many servings? Eleven. So if you want to invite ten people over, everybody get a serving of meatballs. And they're delicious. Simple, quick to make. I'm not getting done shutting that off. I'm probably going to have a few more. But again, we want to thank you guys for watching us here on Cooking uh, Chris's Dishes at youtube.com slash MikeyGood. That's me. And if you would, check us out at RecipesThatCrock.com as well as on Facebook at Recipes That Crock and Good Old Tunes with Good Old Boy where we will promo these videos as well as have some great music and other fun from the family. Uh, you guys keep watching and we'll keep cooking and all will be well. I want some more meatballs. <laughs> this one's good. See you guys.